A Central Oregon favorite returns to the Deschutes County Fairgrounds. Dylan Anderman is live at the High Desert Stampede ahead of tonight's opening action. Dylan. Yeah, Lee, I'm in Redmond at the Deschutes County Fairgrounds at the Expo Center getting ready for the 8th annual High Desert Stampede. The rodeo officially starts tonight at 7, but they started some events yesterday with extreme bull riding. Bull riders from all across the nation came here to compete for $20,000. And earlier today, they had what they called low-key barrel racing, women just doing their thing out here. And now the vendors and everybody is getting ready around the arena for the doors to open at 5. I spoke to some of the members of the High Desert Stampede about opening night tonight and the weekend in general. I can't wait to see everybody here, and I cannot wait to see their smiling faces. I'm so excited just to be able to see how, you know, how everyone takes the whole rodeo atmosphere and just to see all of our fans come down and have the time of their lives. It's rodeo time at the Deschutes County Fairgrounds and rodeo queen Lene Roeder couldn't be more excited. I don't even know how to express how excited I am but just the biggest smile and just a great personality is honestly it's just Oh, it's great. Throughout the day Thursday, Interstate Bank Arena was being set up for the first rodeo in the NFR Rodeo Series. The stampede attracts athletes nationally who compete for world rankings and, of course, profit. $200,000 are spread throughout the events for competitors to earn. Central Oregon is a great place to have rodeos and, you know, in conjunction with sisters and Crooked River Roundup and, and then the High Desert Stampede is just another rodeo for people to attend and to showcase, you know, the, the rodeo athletes. Lane Lurkey is one of seven directors for the Stampede. With the Stampede's growth and a year of planning, organizers are thrilled to get the action started. An amazing rodeo crew and a great horse with an amazing community of people that come together to produce this, I mean, once in a lifetime experience for everybody that comes and watches this beautifully put together rodeo. The Stampede is the largest indoor rodeo in the Pacific Northwest, holding more than 4,000 people. Spectators come from here in Central Oregon, from all parts of the country and across the world to witness the spectacle that is the High Desert Stampede. It's truly just a rodeo. Um, we don't have a halftime show or anything like that. It's purely you come in and we kick off the rodeo with obviously a, a prayer or national anthem and then we're into bucking horses. And it's nonstop all the way through until the last bull is uh, bucked out of the chutes. Like I said earlier today, the doors open at 5 and the stampede, the rodeo starts at 7. General admission online is $20 while at the door it's $25. And of course, there's some VIP seats as well. There's an after party at 9 every single day and the rodeo goes through Saturday. And don't forget to look at the cowboy hats, the cowboy boots. I might need to do that myself as obviously I'm not prepared. And for the first time this year, you can adopt a dog at the front door. And if you don't adopt the dogs, I most likely will because, man, they are sure cute. Live from the High Desert Stampede, Don Enderman, News Channel 21. Somebody's fired up for this rodeo. <laughs> Do you plan to attend the High Desert Stampede? It's a lot of fun, folks, to weigh in. Head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage. Or if you get your smartphone out, scan the QR code there you see on the screen. That will take you directly to our online web poll.